Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you guys my um, new everyday kind of makeup. Um, you guys requested that I did that makeup look in my last haul, I think, and um, another video. I think when I'm like showing you guys my birthday presents. And so I'm going to do that for you guys since um, I got more than one request. Um, and so anyway, I'll just continue. Um, so first I put on my moisturizer, which is this Aveeno one, um, which I showed in my haul video. Um, also I'm going to put on today um, Revlon Color Stay because, I don't know, I'm just in the mood for it. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot more matte than my other ones and I'm, I feel kind of like oily lately so I've been, I, I want to use something a little bit more. Um, that I guess. So just put it all over. Lately my skin's pretty good so I don't need that much foundation anyway. I just put a little bit for some um, kind of evenness. to even everything out. So, basically, I said in my last video that um, this makeup look is kind of like what I've been doing always, but I've added a few different things. Well, like my, fa uh, my moisturizer is kind of different, and um, I put on like, um, I'll show you guys in a second because I'm going to put that on, um, this found, uh, this bronzer, which is, um, I've had for a really long time, and I think I've probably used it in a few, um, makeup tutorials, but I really like it more recently. Okay, so that's my foundation. Nothing too exciting. Um... I'm going to put some concealer on, my MAC one. I'm really running low on this, I probably need to get more. I might try a different kind of concealer from MAC, maybe, I'm not sure. Sorry if I sound weird still, I have a cold, um, I mean this is like the last remaining weird part of my cold where I sound weird, and I have a runny nose. Other than that, I'm fine at least. So just put it... I just do this. And by the way, um, when I'm doing my face makeup like this, I rarely put anything on my forehead because I have bangs and it's just kind of pointless for me. I don't know why. It's just not very um, necessary. So I, ugh, I don't know. I just don't do it really. This is bad. Um, so yeah, I don't do very much um, of anything on my forehead. So if that's what if you're wondering why, that's why. I just have bangs and it covers it and it's kind of a waste of um, foundation and stuff. Okay. So that's my face, all nice and um, concealed dark things. Okay, um, I'm going to put a little bit of translucent face powder and I'm using this one, this airspun one. And I'm just going to use the puff thing because, oh man, not happen. Maybe not. I'm just going to put a little bit on like my oilier areas.
And this is like the lightest color it comes in because it's like translucent. Like when you get this powder, you can get it. Oh, it smells like baby powder. You can get it in like um, skin colors and stuff. But I'm so white that I just have to get like the translucent one. Okay, um, next. This is the part that is different. So this is what I'm using lately. And I like it because it's like all in one. It's a bronzer and a blush and a highlighter kind of all combined. It looks like that. It's like these little fairies. So, um, this one is the highlighter. Then this is bronze and blush. And then the background is also blush. So you kind of can just swirl it all together and it looks really cool. So that's what I usually do. But I put it somewhere different and I'm kind of using it as a contour plus like really high up here. And I know that's kind of insane. Maybe people think that's like too much of blush and bronzer. But I think it looks kind of cool. And I know that it's kind of bold and like not very many people do it. But I just... I don't know, I kind of like the way it looks. So I kind of swirl them all together and tap. And then I just go right here and up. And I put, I add to it. I don't do a ton at first because I know that it might look a little crazy and I'll regret it. But I go into my hair, kind of. It's really hard to tell on this computer. But you can kind of see how it's like kind of glowy over here. And I kind of bring it down too just to incorporate. And it's a huge like brick of stuff so it's like I'll have this for a while probably. So if you don't have this, which I don't think everybody has this, but if you do, or I mean if you don't, just um, kind of combine your blush and bronze together and swirl them and do what I'm doing because it looks really, I think it looks really good, but I mean you don't have to copy me. This is just what I do. So you can see it's pretty like, um, bold. This, this video might go into two parts, I'm not sure, so just to warn you guys. Okay, so that's my blush and bronzer combined. Um, lately I don't do anything with my eyebrows because... They're at like the perfect shape for me, I think, and they're really dark and I don't even really need to fill them in. Plus, my bangs usually cover them most of the time, so yeah. Okay, so now is the part that is different that you guys think, um, I mean this is just what I'm doing differently lately. Um, okay, so first, what I do is I put this um, Urban Decay primer on. So just a little bit, and I put it all over, all the way up to my brow bone, and in here. Okay, so, like that. Now, this is the color that I'm using, and you guys are going to maybe think it's funny because it's not even that great, but I'm using this old CoverGirl eyeshadow palette from, like, a million years ago practically and I'm using this brown shade this is the one that I'm using like almost every day now and I just put it all over my lid and it looks like really good for some reason but anyway so what I do is I just use this brown and I bet you guys could find a better quality maybe even better colored brown and I mean this is just a matte kind of brown so it looks like this um, so yeah, I'll show you what I do. 
This is a e.l.f. brush that I got recently at Target. I forgot to show you guys. And it's kind of bad, but... Okay, it was one dollar, so I'm not, like, trying to, like, say it's horrible, because I know, I mean, it's a dollar. What do you expect? But, like, when I took it out of the packaging, it had the glue still on the bristles, which is kind of weird, but, um, I had to wash it a lot and stuff, but anyway. So I get a bunch of this on my brush, and what I do is I put it first really close to my eyelashes. Um, just like a so I'll show you. Kind of like I'm doing weird brown eyeliner. Really thick brown eyeliner. All the way to the little corner over here. Okay. Um, and then what I do is I start kind of like gradually bringing it up. Well, I, I'm like, okay, it's kind of hard to explain, but just watch my brush movement. I'm basically just patting above the line I made. I'm kind of starting from the crease and going down. Basically, you don't really want to go any higher than your crease. Like, and you want to make sure it looks more blended. So I'm like at my crease now, so I'm kind of rounding it out and then blend like that okay then what I do is where's my brush I get a fluffy brush like this and I start blending it like that now it looks a little bit weird when it's like just like that for a little bit, but it's okay. Okay, so that's all I've been doing, and it looks, I don't know, I guess people like it. I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on it for some reason, like my sister, and I don't know. It's kind of weird. It is kind of a good color, I think, for like bluish eyes, this brown, so... Okay, so basically the same thing. Get your brown. Pretty simple. I mean, I'm not even using another color. If you want, you can use a lighter, um, like a white to put above your, um, on your brow bone, but I don't feel like doing that right now. I usually just do this. Okay, so then get your brush. Blend. Okay, so that's it with the eyeshadow. Um, if you want to make it, I usually make it a little bit darker once I get it all blended up there. I put more dark on the bottom part. Um, oh yeah. Okay, so that's for eyeshadow. Then what I do is I use my liquid eyeliner. I'm running out, so... And I just do my regular liquid eyeliner. That. Next eye. I think it really brings it together. Like, if you just leave it, it kind of looks weird, but if you put eyeliner, it really works better. 